we're pleased to announce the discovery of Kepler-452b, the first small planet in the habitable zone of a G-type star very similar to our own sun. That, as far as we can tell, is a pretty good close cousin uh, to the Earth and our sun. Kepler was specifically designed to try and answer you know, the question of, are there solar systems around other stars, which is definitively answered. We see solar systems uh, like crazy. And to try and answer the question of, are there rocky planets, Earth-sized, in the habitable zone where liquid water can exist, orbiting other stars? I'd like to show you an artist's concept. Looking at this image, I'm reminded of a poem by John Keats on first looking into Chapman's Homer. Then felt I like some watcher of the skies when a new planet swims into its ken. Now this illustration draws upon the facts that we do know about this planet and its star. The star is the same surface temperature and type as the sun, a G2 star. The star is 10% bigger and 20% brighter than our sun as it's somewhat older. And this planet orbits its star every 385 days and is just 5% farther from its star than the Earth. To put this discovery into context, the green shaded regions indicate the habitable zone in each system. Now, as you can see on this figure, Kepler-186 is clearly a miniature solar system. The orbits of all five planets, including the outermost, 186f, would fit inside the orbit of Mercury. In contrast, the habitable zone of Kepler-452 is nearly the same size and extent as that of our Sun. We worked really hard over the last several years to improve our planet hunting software, and we're seeing the results in this discovery. Our mission is to innovate discover, explore, and d inspire. And I, and I am absolutely certain this discovery that's announced today will inspire all of you.